Well, hi everybody, it's Lulu. How are you today? Were you up for the royal wedding? I was up. I set my alarm, set the coffee pot, didn't even use my carrot. Like I had my whole routine set. I'm not, um, I just love royal weddings and the pomp and circumstance and formality and traditions and the beauty of it all and the dripping of money. I just love it all. And I'm not, I'm not even going to pretend that I don't. And her dress was, I love that simple, just sim the neckline. I think just everything about it was beautiful, was beautiful. And he's just so darn adorable. You know what I mean? Like he's just an adorable, you just want to like pinch his cheeks and that moment, I don't know if you watched it, but you know, while they were in the carriage going through the streets and then finally they were, there were no crowds. I don't know if that's like the formal entrance to the castle or Kensington Court or whatever it's called, but you could see her like right as soon as they got out of the public eye but still in the carriage, you could see her kind of go, I don't know if she said, oh my God, or what, but can you just... You know, talk about a fairy tale. I, I just love happy endings, and I hope, I hope that they have just a wonderful time, just a wonderful time. So I'm coming to you today, I'm going to talk fast, but I have all kinds, I probably have 20 things here in front of me, and I am going to, am I crooked? I bought a, uh, uh, not a, it's a diva light, but what's the, a ring light. So. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I have a ring light. I don't know. You can adjust how bright and dim. I've been playing with this forever. We'll see how this is. Maybe it's bright. But I did notice, because I was practicing a little, that it's hard to show things because it's too bright to show things. So I'm not sure how that works. I know it has a remote. I haven't figured out how to use the remote. So I don't know if I'm showing things. I should dim it. Anyway. I mentioned this before. I'm just going to throw in what I'm liking, what I'm not liking, like I'm just picking up. And I believe, I thought it was, I think it was Marla Robinson, and I'll put her, her um, channel below. I think she got this, you see, this is, oh there it is, it's pink. So I have to show you everything way back here. How should I do this? I'm sorry, but it's pink, and you can't, maybe you can see, do you see how, it's silicone. This side is more nubbies. It's very flexible. This is, I have a Clarisonic, I have a Foreo, you know, but I love this better than all of them because it's quick and it's easy and I can go really, really fast. So like you can see how much it covers. And so I suds up my, I, I'm a double cleanser. So I do my oil cleanser first. And I was at TJ Maxx the other day and I should have picked up Shiseido's cleansing oil. It was, they had it for $19.99. I might have to go back today, but anyway, I, I cleanse first because I wear sunscreen and it's really best to take sunscreen really off with oil. That's another story. Um, and then I use my cleanser right now. I'm using Dr. Dines Hydrating Cleanser. <coughs> Excuse me. And while I'm all kind of foamy suds, it's not very sudsy, but it's, it is somewhat sudsy. Foamy, maybe is the word. I just take this and I, and it moves so quickly and I can even go over my eyes. It's so gentle, but I can tell my skin is, I'm not saying it exfoliates, but I think whatever maybe very loose dead skin is hanging around, it, it gets it off. I love this. I love this. And I'll, I suppose I should tell you the name of it. I don't know. I'll link it below. I'm so awful about that. I think it was $15. I actually might know the price. Okay. Returning Peach Perfect Foundation, and I'm going to get the right color. This is, if this was too dark or too peachy, I don't remember, but it just wasn't the right color. This is warm beige. And I remember it was a matter of being too dark, not too light. So I have to do that. Yes, I got a sample. Yes, I tried it. It looked right. It's not. I don't know. I didn't give it enough time to oxidize. Um, Neutrogena, Ultra Sheer. How am I going to do this? Because it really washes everything out. Well, you know, you don't need to see these things. Really, you're just, we're just talking, right? Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry, Dry Touch Sunscreen 55, which is an outstanding product. However, for my oily skin, 
it's too oily. It, it, it does not, it says dry touch on me, it's not dry touch, maybe on you, but if you use as much as you're supposed to, which is a quarter, I'm preparing a, which is a quarter teaspoon. My face, so what you, very quickly, there's a formula by the governing body of sunscreen, of FDA, of biology, of fish and aquariums and the sun and the solar system, whatever agency it is. But there is a very, you know, there is a formula that allows them to say this is SPF 55, this is SPF 30. And it is based on the amount you use. And the standard amount, there is a formula. It's very scientific with, you know, all these kind of exponent, ex, wow, exponents, right? When it has a little number on top. Anyway, algebraic algorithm, whatever. So it has to meet that test. And basically, that test comes out to how much you need per square, blah, 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 centimeter, millimeter, micrometer, I don't even know. If your face is 100 square inches, like mine is, you take a measuring type over the nose and all the way to the back of the ears, and then from here down, my face is 90, it doesn't this sound crazy, 99 square inches. The only way I can say is, if you have a, about 100, I'm using very loose math here, but if you have about 100, you need a quarter teaspoon on your face. So if you have a tiny face, you don't need a quarter teaspoon. But mine happens to be 99 square inches, which is just about 100 in my book. So when I use as much as I'm supposed to, and I keep this on my vanity, like I'm really serious about my sunscreen, always have been. It's too greasy for me. Now, if I were to use what probably the average person is using, then it's fine, but it's too greasy for me. Okay, so we've talked about this. Favorite, fa two favorite loose powders. Like, I'm over the moon about both of these. Of my, all of my loose powders, it's the Peach Perfect by Too Faced, and Boots Number no. 7, which I think they've dropped the Boots part, so it's just Number no. 7, Translucent. I'm a cute shape, too. But, boy, this is annoying me that this is too bright. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm, whatever. Peach Perfect by Too Faced. Interest. They don't change the color of my foundation. I am returning. I am returning. Oh, man, where is it? I'm returning Stellar. S-T-E-L. Oh, here it is. Stellar. Again, I can't show this up close because it's Stellar, which is at Sephora. Uh, I think what they're most known for is they came out with a, a slew of medium foundation. Like, literally, they have 20 shades. I don't know, 25 shades, 30, 15, but they're all medium. So they're kind of catering to the medium, not the light, not the dark. They're, they're coming right out and saying, because there are so many different kinds of medium. Anyway, I had, uh, they came out with a face powder, so I figured if they cater to medium skin tones, but I find this loose powder to be too white. It, it changes the color of, it, it's not translucent. It's supposed to be, but it's not. So this is being returned. Let's see, what else shall we chat about? Love. I'm, I love face palettes that are bronzers. This one by Smashbox, I think it's called the Cali Contour. And you're not going to be able to see the colors. Maybe. Oh, my. Every. This is like the Lorac, Lorac contour palette is for me. All the colors are usable. Anastasia, the original one she came out with. Or no, was it Can't Find D? Who came out with the first contour palette? Anyway, the colors were not usable. But the Lorac is for me. These. The highlighters, the bronzers for contour, the, the blush. It's hard to see. This is beyond fa this is beyond fabulous. I am loving this. I am loving the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess face, uh, eyeshadow palette. I won't be using it because it's one of those things that I buy just to buy because they're so beautiful. But beautiful. Oh, this light's bothering me. This the, the colors are oh gosh. Actually, they're so pretty. I might use this one. I'm having a debate with myself. Anyway. And I love the packaging. Loving that. Returning, and I just bought it. I'm returning the Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced. 
indoors it is beautiful and most of my life in the packaging they redid the packaging oh this light is going to make me crazy indoors it's beautiful and most of my life is indoors i avoid the sun and the outdoors like it's a plague but outdoors you can just see the shimmers too much and you know, because you use a bronzer brush, which is generally fluffy. So when you're putting it on the, 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 the silvers, the glitters, the sparkles kind, it's not horrible, but you know what? But it was, I, I really thought, but I, I'm returning that. Um, oh, loving. And I think they're all on sale, so maybe they're being reformulated. But I have a lot of liquid lipsticks. I am late to the party on this one. The Vice Liquid Lipsticks by Urban Decay. I think I have four of them now. <gasps> they are so comfortable, easy to apply, not tacky, wear off very evenly if they even wear off. I've been using Dose of Colors, and I think I'm returning this because it wears off where you have a ring left, and I can't stand that. It, and it's such a lovely Dose of Colors, such a lovely formula comfortable easy to apply but it wears off unevenly it wears off in the center and that just so that's getting returned are you keeping track of all of this favorite <laughs> i have a video maybe i'll link it at the end on um, i purged my primers not because i'm doing declutterings but because i can't stand primers they say, you know, I try to buy the ones that are pore filling, mattifying. I, I, and I do half and half tests. I'll put it on half my face and not on the other. So I can clearly see after a few hours, is there a difference? No, no. However, the first one that I can actually say for my oily skin and some areas I have, you know, pores that show through the foundation is the Brevlon Photo Ready in the pore this is kind of a pinky beige color. it doesn't go on pinky pore reducing primer i think there's three of them so see the shape of the bottle revlon photo ready pore reducing primer if you have oily i would not recommend this for dry skin if you have oily skin or pore problem i think this is better than clinique i think this is better than smashbox i think this is better than benefit uh this is better than I'm, I'm sure, again, if you watch that video, I have just about every mattifying, pore reducing. This is fabulous. All right. Disappointed. Not sure if I'm returning it because it's so pretty, but I'm disappointed in this new release by Smashbox with Vlada in the, in the um, highlighter. It's so beautiful. And I do buy things for packaging. I have no problem admitting that. I'm a snob. It doesn't have payoff so I'm just really really and I don't like boom in your face highlighter I mean you probably can hardly tell that I have any on I'm wearing which is another one of my favorites did I bring it I don't think I brought it Stila highlighters if you have not felt them go to Ulta Sephora oh my gosh and if if you have one that's new, like obviously the one that the testers in the stores are used, but still you can feel them. But it, when it's new, it literally, it's, you feel like if you take your finger, you feel like you're going over glass. It is so smooth. It's, anyway, I'm wearing Steel a Kitten highlighter. I, I want them all. All the colors aren't right for me, but that's, you know, that's the way it goes. I'm debating on this new Becca. I have it in buff, which would appear to be too light for me. I'm wearing it today, but really, it's a perfect match. I've played with it a few times. I have to use an oil as a moisturizer for this to work. With a regular primer or just over my sunscreen, it is horrible. It's not as horrible as the original, which was the ultimate complexion cover cream. This is just ultimate coverage, I think. It's too matte. It's too drying. It makes my pores more visible. It shows all the, it's just, it's hard to spread even with a beauty, I mean, not that it's hard, but you've got to really take your time. I don't like taking my time with anything. I'm debating. Now over oil today, it's a lovely finish and I used a little bit too much oil. I, I used squalane. Um, 
So I'm debating on this because in the summer I really need oil controlling, mattifying. So I'm thinking about this. Cannot stand the cover FX power play. Cannot stand it. It's going back. Perfect color for me, but oh well. It looks like chalk. It looks cakey. I've tried it a few different ways. I did not try it over oil, but quite honestly, I don't like to have to work to get my foundation to, to work. But do you know what the worst part is? The packaging. That plastic, is. it comes in a square plastic bottle. Why well, I don't have the bottle, I don't know. It comes in a square plastic bottle. That bottle, you know, when it's new, it's fine. You just dump it and you kind of, it is so hard to squeeze. Maybe it's me losing dexterity. I have no idea. It could be. It is so hard to squeeze. Whatever acrylic, plastic, whatever, it's not like a squeezy tube. It's, it's almost, it's just really hard to squeeze. But aside from that, between that and this, this cakiness, this too matte, I mean, it's just too much coverage, too matte. Probably with oil as a moisturizer, even mixed in the foundation might have been better. But again, I'm not about that. What's this? Oh, dose of colors we talked about. We talked about my powders. Oh, I'm returning the Lancome Translucence Powder. I don't like the smell, the scent. Now, people love, it's like YSL lipsticks. They are beautiful. I cannot take that scent. I believe it's rose. I, I just, ugh. And other people just will buy it for it. For instance, I love the scent of Chanel blushes. I'm sure there are some that say, ooh, can't stand it. Well, this just happens to be one of, you know, scent is personal. It's beautiful on the skin, the Lancome translucence, but this, this, and the scent to me lingers. I think whenever you don't like something, it does linger. When you like it, you feel like it goes away right away. But that's going back. Um, the Sugar Glow Palette by Anastasia. Beautiful. I just got it, so, you know, I shouldn't say, but it's, it's, they're all good colors for my, again, you're probably just not going to be able to see, but they're all good colors for my skin tone. Um, the sun, I had bought the sun dipped one and returned it. Those were too dark for me. And speaking of bronzers, am I speaking of bronzers? Oh, this is going back. Pretty vulgar silence treatment. It's supposed to be a matte lip treatment, which I thought would be great because then I could use it first and then put my lipsticks and things over it. And that if I had one that was too drying, it wouldn't be. But this is not conditioning at all. Like it, there isn't a conditioning thing about it. Like, so the concept was great that it would have a matte finish, which is why I like Jack Black, which is in the men's section. That's my favorite lip balm. It is matte because it's made for men and it absorbs and it's truly conditioning, and it's fabulous under lipstick. And that's generally, before I begin my makeup, that's the first thing I put on my lips. So by the time I'm ready for my lipstick, it's fully absorbed. But anyway, so this is going back. What am I blabbing about? I just bought this, Master Bronze Palette by Maybelline. Very nice. I take my, uh, my bronzer brush, and I go through all three of these. I just go, whoop, whoop. And that's what I'm wearing for blush today, actually. And I have a little up here. I just, my hair's still wet, sorry. I had time to do the video now, so I was like, and I don't want to blow dry my hair, so it's up in my, so that's that's fabulous. What else can I talk about that's in front of me? I think I've talked about just about everything. Peach Perfect, yeah, that was the wrong color. Translucence, oh, Redken Hot Sets 22. It's a um, heat protectant. My hair feels, you know, that's what I'm finding is I've been trying a lot of and returning a lot of heat protectants. My hair feels like it just doesn't feel good. The person who, so today, today I'm going to Ulta because Alterna Caviar is 50% off. You know, they're having their 21 days of hair. I love the scent of that line. It's very herbal. It's very um, spa-like. Today's their 50% off day. So I'm buying the shampoo and I love that 10-in-1 caviar. It's in a white... I love that for my hair. For my, I love the scent and for my hair, and that's a heat protectant. So I'll be using that because I know I, I either want unscented, and, and I got quite a few suggestions on Facebook. Bought probably a good amount of them and just didn't like the way my hair felt. The it's a ten in the dark blue, like cobalt blue spray bottle, is a very good heat protectant. But again, that scent is it's fine. I like it better than this one, but. You know, I want to smell my perfume that I'm wearing, and I wear perfume every day. I don't want to smell 
my hair. Have I talked, oh, Fenty, wrong color. Fenty Beauty, wrong color. What color do I, did I get? It was too peachy. I cannot stand when a foundation turns peachy with me. And many of the golden yellow undertone ones turn peachy or are peachy or oxidized. I don't know what the word is. This is in 260. I am going to repurchase this in a better color, but I think it oxidized too peachy, whatever that word is. Okay. And I think I've talked about most everything in front of me, right? Dose of colors. Oh, Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude. I'm kind of like, what's the point? I might give it one more try. I Price is never an issue with me, but I feel like I could, you know, I could go try, oh, there's a bunch of, like I could go try Huda Beauty and spend my money on that versus this. I don't know, it just, like I was kind of like, why bother? I don't know, there was just nothing about this that wowed me. And you know, it's hard for me to return a foundation. If the color is right, generally I keep it. And the color was right, this is 3W1. 3W1 in the nude? Anyway. So that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I have any men that watch me. Maybe I do. The Royal Wedding. What a wonderful day. And do you hear Lucy snoring in the background? I hope not. Oh, if you do, you do. And that's it. So you all have a lovely weekend. I'm going to be going to Ulta to do some returns. And geez, I keep saying I'm going to get to Sephora. I'm going to get to Sephora. I've really got to get to Sephora and do some returns. Um, that's it. Enjoy yourselves. Have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care. Bye-bye.